Domine misericordia tua alleluia. Domine exaudio rationem meam. Dominus vobiscum. Exodinos o Domine Sancte Pater Omnipotens Eterne Deus, et emiter in iniris Sanctum Angelum Tuum de Ceris, qui custodiata, foveata, prodigata, visitat qui defendat omnes abinantes in hoc abitaculum, per Christum Dominum nostrum.
Te jacente mundum existi, fideribus tuis perpetuam concedere titia, uro quos perpetui motis ripuisti casibus gaudis facias perfuis empiternis, erium dem dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivida trenia in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, Per omnia secula seculorum. Lexio epistole beati peretri apostoli. Carissimi, Christus passus est ponobis, vobis relinquens exemplu. Pur sequam in investigi iaris. Qui peccatum non fecite nec inventus est dolus in ore reius. Qui cum maledicere tu non maledicebat, cum patere tu non cominabat. Tradevat autem iudicandi senius te. Qui peccata nos taip se perturit in corpore suo superlin. Ure peccatis motu in justitie vivamus. 
cuius livore sanarati estis. Erati sedim sicut ovas erantes, sed conversi estis nun cada pastorem et episcopum, animarum vestrarum.
Today is the second Sunday after Easter, the epistle, the epistle is taken from St. Peter. Dearly beloved, Christ suffered for us, leaving you an example that you should follow his steps who did not sin. Neither was guide found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, did not revile. When he suffered, he threatened not, but delivered himself to him that judged him unjustly who his own self bore our sins in his body upon the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live to justice, by whose stripes you were healed. For you were as a sheep going astray, but, but you are now converted to the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Please stand up for the Gospel. It's taken from St. John. At that time Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd gives us his life for his sheep. But the hireling, and he that is not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, sees the wolves coming, and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches and scatters the sheep. And the hireling flees because he is a hireling, and he has no care for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd, and I know mine and mine know me as the Father knoweth me. And I know that the Father, and I lay down my life for my sheep. And other sheep I have that are not of this stall, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. So today is second Sunday of uh, after Easter is the Sunday of the Good Shepherd. We usually pray for the vocations and the second collection will be to support our seminarians of the district in the, the seminaries in America and in uh, Argentina. This week is a normal week with a, a failure day every day, except Saturday will be Our Lady on Saturday. The, there are three Masses every day at 7, 11.15 and 6 p.m. And Saturday, two Masses at 8 and 
For the Crusaders, you have your meeting on Thursday at 3.20. The youth group has a, is meeting on Thursday too at 6.45. And the third of those, San Francisco, Thursday, 7 p.m. Next week, I'm leaving, oh no, sorry, in, uh, in eight days, I'm leaving for two weeks. I'm going to Vanuatu. So pray for that, please. You know, uh, this is our mission where we didn't go for years. So I, uh, I'm happy to, to be there for two weeks and uh, to help our faithful there to give the sacraments and the, the catechism. So you can pray for this, uh, this mission, please. Next Sunday, there will be the Mass in Napia at 3.30. And remember, at the back of the church, there are many uh, items. They are free, so take everything you want. You will help us. Uh, the rest will be thrown away, so take what you want. Then, uh, last week, I hope you took the letter of Father Timan. I hope you read the letter of Father Timan. And this week, there is another letter, I'm sorry, it's by me. Uh, I write this letter to explain you the program of the centenary of the, the church and the, the works we, we try to do in this occasion. So do not, don't forget to take this, uh, this letter at the back of the church and to, to read it during the, the week. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Dear brother, in this uh, Sunday of the Good Shepherd, it's important to, to remember the mission of the priest, to pray for our vocations, for the perseverance of the vocations, the perseverance of the priests. And uh, I want to follow what Archbishop Lefebvre said once in a sermon, he explained the three missions of the priest. He said the priest is the one who teaches Christ, loves Christ, and communicates Christ. So to preach, to love, and to communicate Christ. And uh, St. Peter, he gave St. Peter as a, a good example of this. In fact, it's right, you know, that um, St. Peter recognized, was one of the first to recognize the divinity of our Lord. Uh, this is famous, it's uh, St. Matthew 16, 16. Saint Matthew, in St. Matthew, Saint, uh, our Lord asked the Apostles, uh, Whom do you say that I am? And it's St. Peter who answer, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the, of the living God. So St. Peter manifests his faith in the divinity of our Lord, and he is the example of the priest, because the priest is instituted by Jesus to be known by the faithful, by the men. And this is the, the reason of the seminary. During six years, or seven years, or that eight years, the future priest uh, study, studies the, the life of Jesus, the theology, to be able to teach Jesus Christ to the faithful. And, um, and in fact, you know that the, this mission is essential to the priest, because there is no salvation without Jesus Christ. So the mission of the priest is to preach Jesus Christ to preach by his words and to try to teach by his example, by his life, the, the, the example of the, the, the virtues of Jesus Christ. So this is the first mission of the priest, to teach Jesus Christ. Then the priest must love Jesus Christ. In fact, this is for everybody. Everybody is supposed to love Jesus Christ, but more again the priest. And we have again the example of Saint Peter. You know that St. Peter three times will betray Jesus, saying that he doesn't know him during his passion. 
And after the resurrection, Jesus went to St. Peter and asked him three times, Thou, do you love me? And St. Peter understood that it was these three questions were a reparation for his three betray betrayals. And in fact, he said to our Lord this beautiful uh, answer, you know, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. And this was asked Jesus from his priest to be loved by them. And it explained the reason the law in the Roman Church of the celibacy. The chastity, the perfect chastity asked by the church from the priest is the reason, the, the, the reason of this is the love of Jesus. The, the, the priest is so close to Jesus that his love, his charity must be turned only to Jesus. And this is the main reason, the, the, the reason of the, the, the perfect chastity asked to the, to the priest. You know. It's not because he's very busy with the apostolate. This is not the main reason. There are some men, because of their job, they, they can be busy like the priest. There are some doctors, for example, they are very busy and they can still have a family. But the main reason is this proximity of the priest with Jesus Christ. If you notice in the Holy Scripture, all the friends of Jesus, the, the closest friends, were Virgin, Our Lady, Saint Joseph, Saint John the Baptist, Saint John. And even the apostles, if they were married, the tradition say that after the, the, after the, the Pentecost, they, they, they live in the chastity. So this is the, the mark of the, 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 the priesthood, because the priests must have this 100% of his love to Jesus and love the other in Jesus Christ. And this is the apostolate of the priest, the reason. The priest loves you for the love of Jesus. It's because the priest loves Jesus Christ that he wants to communicate you, Jesus Christ, to make you loving Jesus Christ. And this is the reason of the celibacy of the priest. And it's why the reason you have to pray for the perseverance of the priest. We know that unfortunately some priests uh, betrayed these promise are not faithful, especially today in this crisis of the church. There are so many, but the, it's not a reason because some were not faithful that this must be abandoned in the Catholic Church. It's the contrary. We must be, give a good example of this uh, renouncement, this sacrifice, because we are close to Jesus Christ. Every day the priest is in contact with Jesus in the, in the Mass, especially. And it's why the Church asks this uh, complete um, uh, love of, Jesus, of the priest for Jesus Christ. It's exactly the same for the religious life. The, the, the brothers, the sisters uh, have this vow of chastity, of perfect chastity, because they want to be totally in the service of Jesus. This is the reason of the celibacy of the, of the priest. So this is the second, second point, to, to, to teach Jesus Christ, to love Jesus Christ, and to communicate Jesus Christ. The priest is chosen by God to give the treasures of Jesus Christ, is the mediator between God and men, and to give the, the, to the, the faithful the grace, the grace, the grace through the sacrament especially, and more preciously at the Mass. When we, we have an image of the priest, most of the time the priest celebrating the Mass. Because this is the essential, the most important mission of the priest. In the Mass, the priest communicates Jesus Christ. He asked Jesus to come on the altar, and from the altar, after he gave you the communion, so nourishing your, your soul. This is the, the third mission of the, of the priest, the most beautiful mission in the world, communicate, to communicate Jesus to the souls. And it's why this proximity with Jesus uh, obliged him to be separated from the world. The priest is totally consecrated to the service of Jesus Christ, to communicate to Jesus and his grace. So there are reason in this Sunday we must pray for 
the vocations. The vocation is a, a gift of God. Nobody is, uh, can say, I'm a priest because of me or because of... No. And there is something very mysterious in the choice of the, the vocations. But we must pray. We know that if we pray, God provides the vocations. And especially in our parish, I think we can pray for that. We must uh, pray more especially to have more vocation of priests and um, for the parents, it's a great duty to, to protect this vocation against the spirit of the world. So many vocations are wasted, are lost, because the, 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 the boys, they, they lose their vocation. We, we don't know, I don't, want, I don't judge anybody, it's, but it's a fact, it's what say the, the, the spiritual author, there are some vocation lost because the, the boys uh, lose this vocation. And especially because of the spirit of the world. We cannot have the same soul, you know, the love of Jesus Christ and the love of the world. And it's why, dear parents, it's very important for you to protect your children against the spirit of the world. And for the children, you have to understand why your parents put some limits to try to protect you. And this is the, 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 the condition to, to, to preserve, to protect the, 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 the vocations. So we must pray for, for, for that and pray for the perseverance of the priest. Uh, especially today, in this crisis of the church, it's so difficult for the, for the priest. There are so many priests who unfortunately failed. Uh, pray for them. Pray for the, the priest, the reason. Pray for your priest, for the priest of the parish, and for all the priests in the church that they can be faithful to the, the grace of their ordination and continue this mission given by Jesus to, to, to teach him, to love him, and to communicate him to you. To, to. Is the grace we will ask through the intercession of Our Lady, Our Lady, who is the, the mother of the priest by excellence, ask Our Lady to, to give us some, some vocation in our, in our parish and to, to pray for the, for the perseverance of the priest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.
Secula seculo. Dominus vobiscum. Potissimum gloriosius predica, cum pasca nostrum immolatus est Christus. Ipsenim vetus restans, qui abstulit peccatamur, qui motem nostram moriendo restus, Et vitam resurgendo re reparat. Et video cum angelis et archangelis, cum angelis et dominationibus, cum que omni militiat celestis exercitus, im nume glorie tue caranim, Sine figne redicenetes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Dei, Sabot.
Omnia secula seculo. O Remus, receptis salutaribus moli, et divinans institutione formati, aud Remus dicere, Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctifice tu, nomen tu, Adveniat regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostum quotidianum da nobis odi, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris. Et ne nos inducas in tentatione.
omnia secula seculorum. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscus.
Dominus vobis cum. Oremus, resta nobis quesumus omnipotens Deus, ura vivificationis surui gratiam consequente, in tuo semper munire gloriem, per dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivida treniat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Dominus vorbis cum. Et Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Regina Celi, Oh, 